Sorry to burst your bubble, but pro wrestling is scripted. However, WWE has managed to successfully hide some ways they conduct their weekly programming. Not anymore. I'm Jeremy, and here are five secrets the WWE does not want you to know. As a bonus, Mr. McMahon controls all. Well, for starters, we just wanted to make sure that you know that everything you see on live television is approved by the WWE chairman, Vince McMahon, and there's not a single thing he is unaware of when it comes to the weekly shows. Yes, Adam Pearce and Sonya Deville don't have any authority over Raw or SmackDown, and they are portraying characters on screen just like our tribal chief, WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns. When it comes to NXT, although McMahon has the final say, the day-to-day -day management is under Triple H and Shawn Michaels. Number five crowd reactions. This is a practice that WWE has been called out on for numerous occasions. Back in the days when SmackDown debuted, the WWE production crew were given the task of enhancing the show, which meant the crowd reaction would be filtered in, whether it was cranked up for an ovation or muting boos towards certain wrestlers that the company wanted to get over. Unless you were a fan in attendance, you wouldn't be able to point out the real reaction for the wrestler or segment. It was often pointed out that WWE would tone down boos towards Roman Reigns during his babyface run in an attempt to seem to get him over with the fans. Just a few years later, Reigns is now so over that despite being a villainous character, he's perhaps the number one merch seller in WWE at the moment. Number four, TV timeout. If you've been watching WWE for quite some time, you would be able to realize that when a wrestler gets thrown on the outside of the ring, a commercial break is coming up. Actually, the wrestlers get informed about commercials and the matches are choreographed in a way to make sure it doesn't seem too unnatural for the fans in attendance. The crowd during an ad break, one of the wrestlers keeps them engaged by their antics while the other one recovers at ringside. If you remember just a year back, WWE suddenly started making every match two out of three falls to utilize commercial breaks. Recently, the tradition has changed a bit and some in-ring action actually goes on during the commercial break, which you'll see later on highlights shown by WWE. Number three, the decline in ratings. It is true that WWE has had no competition since the decline of WCW. Recently, with the rise in popularity of all elite wrestling, there's at least a sense of competition, be it amongst the fans or wrestlers of both promotions. WWE doesn't want you to know about the ratings war, or unlike Tony Khan, they barely react to their weekly ratings or audience demographics on any social media platform. They also like to ignore the fact that there are any other competing wrestling promotions while they're on the air. Is it the same backstage though? Not at all. WWE actually notes down the rise or decline in weekly ratings and tends to bring surprise now and then to keep the ratings from declining further, be it a supersized SmackDown or Halloween special events, Legends Night, Old School Raw, or any such gimmick episodes to boost up the ratings. Number two, backstage collisions. One question that many fans have is about the actual heat or tension between wrestlers who square off against each other in the ring. Are Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns the biggest rivals of one another? Are Randy Orton and Riddle actually the best of bros? How about Rusev, Lana, and Bobby Lashley who are all up against each other in that one horrific marriage storyline. Although these are scripted storylines, WWE doesn't want you to know when there's an actual backstage brawl or quarrel between the superstars. Recently, there were rumors everywhere about the title exchange segment between Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch that the two stars were involved in a heated exchange backstage after the segment. WWE never made any official comment. One of the most infamous backstage face-offs of all time between Chris Jericho and Brock Lesnar after SummerSlam 20. 2016 that was also never made public by WWE. Number one, referees are way more important. The third man in the ring is often equally as important as the two or more competitors who are battling it out. Refs are wired up to the production crew backstage in order to help relay information to the wrestlers about the match. When you see Charles Robinson check on your favorite face or heel, he isn't just making sure they're physically okay, he's often passing on a reminder about the next move that is about to take place. Most of the time, they also indicate the wrestlers about the match finish when it exceeds the time assigned to it. In fact, the finish of the WrestleMania 30 match between The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar was only known to a handful of people beforehand, including the referee. Lastly, they aren't actually knocked out when a wrestler barely hits them and then magically revive at the end of the time for the pinfall. It's all a part of the plan.